Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making this video from my uh, new home. In my last smart home tour, I have told you all about the things I use in my smart home and some of the things I'm moving into my new home and how I'm gonna set this up. So I'm planning all this in my head that how I want to set up my new smart home. What are the things which I'm gonna uh, take from my old home and reuse them in my new home. I wanna think about and learn from my earlier mistakes. I wouldn't call them mistakes, but experiences, uh, I think is a better word. Uh, so I've been using Ecobi smart home, uh, smart thermostat in my old home. It has worked for last four years. It, ha it has never given me any issues. I got into this home and we got the keys and I came into the home and the house is freezing cold. It's, it was not good. I felt like uh, that what's going on. I checked the smart thermostat and the smart thermostat which was installed in this house uh, was uh, Google's Nest thermostat. That thermostat, I think, is the is the really old generation, the third generation, um, which came out in probably 2016. Um, I'll put the exact date when it launched. When it came out, it was a really sleek looking and a really nice smart thermostat. I've always wanted to use a, a Nest thermostat, but I never got around to it because it did not have the HomeKit compatibility at that time. Ecobee has that and that's why I went with Ecobee thermostat in my old home and it worked perfectly fine. What I've done is I went into Home Depot. I looked at different options. There were Ecobee uh, enhanced version now and there is Ecobee premium and then there is the Nest fourth generation Nest learning thermostat. So I, as you can see that I went with the Nest learning thermostat because it looks really good. And I always wanted to try the Nest ecosystem and the Nest, Nest learning thermostat, uh, but I never got around to it uh, because of the HomeKit compatibility at that time. But now this one has matter over Wi-Fi enabled. So it will work with uh, my iPhone. It will even work with my Android devices, which I'm using right now. Uh, it will work with all my family uh, iOS devices. Uh, so there is a lot more compatibility uh, for this thermostat, which is great. The regular price for this one is 379 plus tax, which is a lot for thermostat. So I have been thinking about this thermostat for a while. I was saying, okay, do I want it? Do I, do I really want to spend uh, almost close to $500? on a thermostat which I probably am not even gonna touch. The idea of Nest Learning thermostat is that we won't be using it, we won't be touching it. It will adapt uh, to our uh, temperature environment. So the 379 plus taxes. I got an email recently that, oh, if you're moving to a new home, check if you are eligible for uh, and some energy rebate. I was able to check if I'm eligible for any uh, hydro rebates in my area. And actually I was eligible for $100 rebate. So the price went from 379 to 279 for me. And then uh, during this boxing week, actually there was an additional $70 off. So I was able to get this thermostat for around $210 plus taxes compared to the original price of 380. So I, I felt like I got a good deal on it. So I went with the obsidian black color and it comes with a temperature sensor as well, which I can put in any other room. So let's open this up and see uh, how it is from the inside. And also let's see if this can actually fix the problem which I'm facing right now. Okay, so as I said, this has the meta compatibility, uh, Google Nest Learning Thermostat, fourth generation with the temperature sensor, which is the second generation. Okay, so it's nice packaging. Start from here. Okay, so, oh wow, okay. Okay, so on the first glance, it looks really, really shiny. Uh, black obsidian color temperature sensor. I guess you can put it against the wall, in the wall, and I believe you pull it out to engage the battery. Uh, okay, comes with this uh, plate where we, where we see all the wires, where they're gonna go. Comes with also a, a, le a level, which is nice. Comes with some instructions. Okay, this is a tray. Oh, this is the mounting plate and some screws. Okay, I think we have everything. Okay, so this was the unboxing of the Nest Learning Thermostat. 
now we're gonna go into the the area where the thermostat is installed we'll take off the old one and install this one and let's see i hope that this fixes all my thermostat issues let's go okay so now i'm just taking it off so the issue which i found for my uh, old thermostat was that there was no c wire so there was no constant power being provided to the old thermostat and that was the reason that it it actually died so as you can see it has uh it's totally dead it doesn't work anymore so i'm hoping that uh, i was reading online that the new nest thermostats actually don't require the c-wire and they are able to work without c-wire as well and in some cases if they do need a c-wire then there is a extender power extender kit which i can buy from nest so i hope that i don't get to do that but uh let's see what happens uh, i'm gonna change this into the new plate and then we'll get the system started so now i have already labeled the wires which are which and now i know exactly where they have to go and i think i'm gonna try that and then we're gonna see if this uh problem is resolved by installing the new nest learning thermostat let's see if it this fixes and let's see what's the next Okay. and it's telling me that i should continue on my continue the setup in the google home app so let's do that uh, it says your thermostat is ready to connect so now it's testing the system's power which was my main concern so now is i'm gonna see Okay, so this thermostat can now control heating and cooling. It needs some time to calibrate its temperature sensors for your home. Now you'll connect your thermostat to Wi-Fi and get to know its helpful features. And that's how it looks. As you can see that right now, uh, the temperature is set as 20 degrees and it's, it's a little cold in the house. So I definitely want it to be at 22. I believe right now it's 17.5 to the Wi-Fi and now it's finishing up and I think that will transfer the credentials from Wi-Fi from here to here okay now it's, it's asking me to set up home and away routines which I don't want to do right now because right now I'm not just want to set this up and make sure that the C wire issue is not happening again power information this is the key thing which I wanted to check so as you can see that the power uh, status is good right now which means that uh, there is enough power getting to nest thermostat so this is a good sign for me i don't have to use the power extender kit to use with this thermostat so which is good so i'm gonna do some testing test it in for next few days and make sure that there is no issues i'm gonna uh, test it for next few weeks and days and see how uh, my experience is different for uh, Nest Learning Thermostat than the Ecobee in my previous home. So stay tuned for that. Uh, this looks very really nice. I'm really excited to use it and I'll let you guys know how my feedback is after a few weeks. So that's it for this video today. I just wanted to start showing you what I will be doing in my new home. And this was the first uh, smart home uh, device which I have installed in this new house. So that was it for this video. If you have any thoughts or questions about how to install this device or if you just want to let me know your feedback, uh, feel free to uh, leave a comment or like this video and subscribe to my channel as well. Uh, stay tuned. I'll be sharing uh, more updates about what I'm doing in my new home. Thank you.